So you've got a Whirlpool washing machine and you've just installed a new component or maybe you just feel like your washing machine isn't running its best. It's important to know how to reset and recalibrate the machine. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that together with three types of resets so at least one of them will work. Note that these steps will work for all washing machines that have these oval LED segments just below the washer dial and that includes Whirlpool, Maytag, Kenmore, Roper, Amana, Admiral, and Crossley brand washers. We can do the first two resets in sequence. So first, rotate your washer's control dial counterclockwise until it's at the north or 12 o'clock position. Once that's done, unplug the washing machine from the wall and with the unit unplugged, wait about a minute before you plug the power cord back in. You should hear a faint clicking noise from the back of the washer relay as it boots up. This is the first type of reset which should restore your washing machine to all default modes and settings or at least it should accomplish that. Now that we've done the first reset, let's go ahead and attempt to recalibrate this washing machine through the calibration mode. This is a must do if you've installed any new parts on the washing machine from a board to a balancing rod. With the washing machine freshly rebooted, you want to rotate the dial again counterclockwise 360 degrees. Then you'll turn the knob right three clicks, left once, then right once again. It should be pointed at this point at 3 o'clock or all the way to the right position. You need to do all these things within 3 seconds. And it may take a few attempts, but if you've done this right, all the lights at the bottom of the washing machine control should flash on and off, showing that you've entered into the diagnostic mode. Once you're in this mode, you want to turn the knob clockwise 4 times. The rinse light should be the only one on illuminated solidly by itself. This is the recalibration mode. Once you press the start button here on the rinse mode, the door lid will lock and it will begin a series of tests and operations on your washing machine. Now all these tests take approximately three minutes to run all the way through. As the recalibration mode runs, every part and process on this washing machine is going to be ran and the machine will physically reset all the components to a default state, allowing them to run at an optimal level. This is a must have when parts aren't working right or the machine just doesn't know what state the washing machine is actually in, like you've replaced the shift actuator or even a control board. During this time, you're going to hear all kinds of noises from the machine, and that's going to be totally normal during the approximate three minutes. Now, when the calibration mode is at the end, every single light is going to turn off, including the lid lock light, and the machine is now ready and recalibrated for use at an optimal level. Now let's try one more reset technique before the video is over. First, you'll need to unplug the washing machine and let it sit for about one minute to drain any capacitors or memory, just like we did the first time. Then you'll plug the washing machine back in. Let it sit for a few moments. Then you'll want to open and close the lid six times in under 12 seconds. This works on some, but not all models, and it will issue a reset command to the washing machine to clear any issues with the unit beyond what the reboot or reset mode did with it unplugged. Now some other notes with this washer, there are many other modes and commands available on this style washing machine, and if you want to learn more, please make sure to click on the videos at this end screen to learn more about those hidden commands and features to make you a professional on this kind of washing machine. Have a great day.